Howdy folks, welcome back to Black Mountain. Down here at the shop today, it's uh, day six mid-autumn. A little bit crisp, it's about 48 out right now, here around noon. And they're calling for snow tomorrow. And once it starts snowing, sometimes it doesn't stop. So I came down here, I got some straw. Figured I'd give the cow some straw to help him through the winter. And I've also got a big uh, barrel of fuel in there. Because I've used up most of the fuel and uh, I don't want to run out this winter. About everything's filled up except the truck. I may grab some fuel here before we head up the mountain. So we're going to head back home. And uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, I did get some grass in the silo, so that's fermenting. Got, I think it was 27,000 liters. I'll have to check. A decent amount. So I think we're all set. We're just going to kind of hunker down for the winter. Uh, I've been talking to the banker. I think I'm maybe pulling the trigger on that land. Went a little too far here. And we'll be logging off probably most of that parcel. And then hopefully we'll be able to pay at least most of the loan back. I know you're supposed to shut your engine off, but... We're just going to pull right out of here in traffic. Head on out of here. Alright, let's go, truck. So we're going to head back up the mountain. So that's the plan anyway. I haven't I haven't uh, signed any paperwork yet, but... I think we'll probably be at least starting work on that this winter. Getting a bunch of trees down. I've got my eye on a, uh, a log trailer. That will, I think, take like a 12 or 15 meter log. So, I'm thinking we might do long logs. And then haul it down here with the tractor. But I'm not 100% sure. I've also kind of got my eye on uh, an older case tractor. I think it's a 7000 series. Be a little more horsepower. It's, uh, it's a lot bigger tractor though. I'm not sure it would actually fit in the cow barn. So, still doing some studying. We'll see. I don't really need to do anything probably till spring. But uh, in the days since I last talked to you, I got uh, a bunch of plowing done. So I made two fields there by the cow barn. I got a little bit of uh, allergies going on, so my voice is a little weird. So I got uh, the ground plowed up there by the, the two fields next to the cow barn. And I got those plowed and cultivated. And the plan is next spring to plant some grass there. And that way we can fertilize and get uh, like maximum yield from that little bit of grass. And then if we need extra grass, which we might, depending on how many cows we start running. Hey, Mr. Bear. Always say hi to the bear and just move on. So we got the extra grass down there kind of around the, the silage clamp. So I think we'll be okay. Woo. A little bouncy on the suspension there, truck. <laughs> this trailer pulls pretty nice, but it's not like a fifth wheel. Woo! Probably should have put them bales a little further back over the axle. It would have been the smart thing to do. turn there so if you're new to the series I'm not sure if you've seen the the whole trip up the mountain so we'll just take the whole trip up the mountain it's not too bad of a trip it's a little bit roundabout but this is the better road and uh, if you are joining the series here just kind of in the middle Make sure you check out the playlist. I do have all the episodes in the playlist, so you can go back to episode one, where we're starting completely from scratch. And uh, we built up the farm from there. You got this truck. No problem. No, oh, don't get too carried away, truck. 
bring her back to about 25. So, not too bad of a trip, even when you load the trailer properly. But tomorrow, this may be a completely different story if we get some snow, like they're calling for. We may not be down to town for a while. So, I thought we might as well get some straw. I hadn't been given the cow's straw, but through the winter time, I think it'd probably be better to get them some straw. So, what else have we got? The, uh, the wheat field is no more. I didn't, uh, I didn't have any way to harvest it, so I just let it go. It's now back to just grass. What actually happened is, I, before I did the plowing, I went ahead and added multi-terrain angle to the map. Uh, and that removed the, the field where I'd plowed up for the uh, wheat. The wheat was still there, but it wasn't technically a field. So, do have multi-terrain angle now. I just like that look better. Especially when you're plowing. Alright, we are almost back. Really wish the neighbor would clean up that tree there. I'd do it for him, but I can't. Alright, Chevy. You gotta lug up this hill. No problem. The old 54 just gets down and grunts and gets her done. I did end up removing one of the trees. I need to get that picked up. It was just kind of in the way working that field. I left the one on the corner though, just for some decoration. So we got that field there. Just going to let the snow soak into that and then we'll uh, get some grass seed on it next spring. Whenever the ground thaws out. So, I probably want this straw in the barn. Oh, just ignore that barrel of fuel. I forgot to delete that. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just pretend like that doesn't exist. There is no fourth wall on this series, right? Wink, wink, nod, nod. All right, uh, let's just back this, back this right in there. And I can pull the straw from the side, I think. He says as he confidently jackknifes the trailer. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get her back in there. a pro. This is actually easier in real life. You have a much better sense of space and better control of the vehicle. Not too bad though. Not too bad. I'll take it. Alright. Back home safe and sound. So if we pull up the forecast here, uh, you can see we got today and then tomorrow, it's eh, this. It says rain, but at 29, that could easily turn into some snow. Uh, then we got lots more rain, and it's kind of right around freezing. And then the the temps are falling off. More precipitation, more precipitation. So I think winter is going to really set in here in the next few days. So we want to get ready for that. I'm going to get some of the straw over to the cows. Let's get those off. Uh, so let's go get the tractor. Where did I leave the tractor? Is it over with the cows? Went down to town and forgot everything. So I've got the snow blade on the New Holland. It's ready to go. Because they are calling for some snow. Alright, let's take a little jog over here. I think it's over here with the uh, yeah, it's hooked up to the mixing wagon. Again, just pretend like that orange barrel is not there in the field. I was supposed to delete that and I forgot. I accidentally bought the barrel and forgot to reset the store position to the store, so... 
a little inside baseball there. Oops. All right, we're gonna unhook you. I noticed down at the store, I couldn't shove a hay spike in the bales. And I don't remember, since technically I don't own the tractor at the store, like nobody owns it. I don't know if it just wasn't letting me pick up the bales since it wasn't my tractor. I didn't know for sure what was going on. I ended up leasing a, uh, a bale grabber. Which reminds me, did I... Did I Unleash that? I didn't. All right. Well, I'll uh, I'll try to remember just to set ownership of that to the store for next time. So yeah, I'm not sure what was going on there. I was not able to pick up the bales with the uh, bale spike. They just wouldn't like go into the bale. It's like they were made of metal. So I got the bale grabber and we got him on the trailer. And I need you selected. There we go. Uh, so let's grab... Let's try with the pallet fork. That doesn't work. We'll get the, uh, the log fork and we'll just strap them. But I'm curious if the, uh, the pallet fork will stick in them, since I couldn't stick in them down at the shop. Maybe they have these new titanium straw bales. <laughs> Ooh, we don't have much room here, do we? I didn't think about that. Well, that's where having a little tractor comes in handy. You don't need much room. Alright, can I stab you? Oh, I can stab you, no problem. Yeah, I think it's because I don't technically own the tractor down at the shop. I think that's why it wouldn't let me. That's my working theory. So as far as where to put these bales, I want them under cover, but let's go let's go give one to the cows. Um, they don't have any straw right now, so I'm really hoping they end up with 4,000, but I know Seasons has an issue with deleting partially used bales. That's a, an open bug they have. Really hoping we don't waste a bale here. But we'll go test it out. Sacrifice a bale in the name of science. I haven't upgraded the tractor yet. I can't decide if I want to just upgrade this tractor. I can boost this up to, I think, 130 horsepower. Or if I just want to get something completely different. We'll see. I need to go check out that older case tractor. Alright, I think this is a straw trigger. Let's back off of that. No? Maybe not? You want some straw? No, not so much. Okay. How are we doing here, cows? Straw zero. The uh, the boys are growing up over twelve hundred pounds now. Hmm. Where do you want the straw? Not there, apparently. Need it a little closer? No? No straw, huh? Alright. Well, I'll, uh, I guess I'll figure that out after the fact. So I can try... Do I need it over, like, in the fence? Ooh, I wonder, do I have to chop it up for him? Like, it doesn't take bales, maybe? It's been a while since I did cows. No, yeah, it doesn't like it in there either. Ah, 
I wonder if I have to blow it in there for him. That yeah, could be. I didn't think about that. I should have got me one of them there, uh, running loader straw blowers while I was down in town. All right, well, I'll figure that out. Nothing else, I'll cut it up and toss it in by hand. Not a biggie. Uh, they're good on food and water, so let's run back over here. We'll go check on the silage. And then uh, we're going to kind of just hunker down and ride out the winter. I've got, the, if you can see it in the trees there, I've got the wood harvester up there. It's alongside the road. Just in case we do decide to pull the trigger on that uh, land. Kind of thinking that might be the winter project. That would open up quite a bit of field area. We'd have to do a lot of prep, but... Get those trees out of there, we could grow a lot more grass, or even maybe get into some actual crop. Expand the farm a bit. I know the kids have been wanting to get the horses up here on the mountain. If you were here for the uh, Rolling Hills series, we had... Was it, uh, it was Nightmare and Cheeto. Those are the two horses the kids named. Although I've been informed by my daughter that Nightmare is now named Midnight. So, I guess it would be Midnight and Cheeto. <laughs> That's what happens when you let your kids name the horses. So we might try to get some horses up here, but then we would need, you know, some feed. We need to grow some oats or something. I'm going to go ahead and put this bucket on there. Oh. That didn't work, did it? God, it likes to kind of do its own thing sometimes. Nope, nope, nope. Back up. There you go. So we might uh, might board some horses. We'll see. We've got plans. We just got to see what we can get done. There we go. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to get this bucket on here. In case I need to move some snow around tomorrow. We're going to stick the tractor back in the shed. Then I guess I'll get my pocket knife and go unwrap a bale. Ease this in there. Let's, let's back in. And I'll check the forecast. I don't, I don't think it's supposed to get super cold yet. Do we need like the block heaters plugged in or anything. Just uh, take a gander again at the old forecast. Uh, yeah, not super duper cold, just barely below freezing, so we should be fine. But uh, I think that'll be it for this one. We'll go get the uh, straw out for the cows, and we shall await the first snowfall. I think we're in good shape. Oh, we were going to check on the silo, weren't we? Let's go check on the silo. Take a little run. I did get the uh, the water tank water tank filled up. So you can see we got a, a decent amount here. We got... Uh, that doesn't actually show me now that it's fermenting, but it is fermenting. And also notice that doesn't show up in the menu for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show up here. I don't... I thought it would show up there, but I'm not sure why it doesn't. But uh, we still have basically 56,000 liters of hay. I was thinking this was about 27,000 liters of chaff once I got it all put in there. It's kind of all spread out, so it doesn't look like much, but I think we're good. I think we're in good shape. I've still got quite a bit of uh, TMR in the mixing wagon, so we're good. But uh, that'll be it for this one. I'll check in again with the winter time, and uh, we'll see what's going on and get uh, the bank paperwork filed we might be doing some logging thanks for watching as always take care